Going live. <laughs> Nobody viewing yet. Yeah, um, you've got your tongue. You're a little lofty. Oh, I, don't, I don't do lofts. Um, yeah, we, we got it, but it, oh, actually, I best introduce this. We weren't lying here, <laughs> aren't we? Okay. Hello, buddy. Hi. <laughs> that was. Yeah, yeah, everybody's coming on now. Experience. Here we go. <laughs> we, we, we must be mad. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to it. Good evening, though. guys. Thanks for watching. You've tuned into our live Facebook feed. It's our first one, isn't it? First live book feed of the group. It's our first the one. The Paranormal Activity Specialist here at the Guy Fawkes Inn in York. Um, I've actually got a bit of paper in front of me telling me a bit about the inn. Oh, you should be. Do you want to hold it up for you so I can put your camera yeah, That'll look a bit better, won't it? It would, won't it? A bit it? more professional. It would. Prompt. Do, do, do. Oh, I need my glasses. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, there is a cottage at the back of this inn, out back, where uh, Guy Fawkes, the infamous plotter, was uh, born. He was born on this very spot in the shadow of the Minster on the 13th of April 1570 and was baptised in St Michael of Belfry Church across the street. His father, Edward, a church lawyer and prominent Protestant in the city, died when Guy was only eight years old. Guy's turbulent life took its first term when his mother remarried a Catholic and Guy was sent to St Peter's Catholic School, which is on Bootham in York, only 500 yards from where you stand now. His schoolmates included brothers John and Christopher Wright, who later joined him in the infamous gunpowder plot. Uh, as an adult, Fawkes inherited property in York at Gilligate and Clifton. On his 21st birthday, he sold his estate and enlisted in the Catholic Spanish Army and spent most of the next 10 years becoming an expert in explosives. Later, he would join a group of conspirators and viciously, viciously plot to murder King James at the Houses of Parliament and replace him with a Catholic monarch. Although many centuries have since passed, this fine building where Guy began his life is so well preserved, you could be forgiven to think it was only yesterday. Real ale, traditional pub meals, gas lamps <laughs> and timber floors <laughs> all combine this heritage to create one of the most characterful pubs in Britain. And there's a nice plug there for the Guy for Fawkes, the guy Fawkes in, in New York. New York. Yeah. Um, the team are all here. There's me, Dee, Sarah... That's Kate just walking in there. And Lou's doing a bit with the photos, isn't that? Uh, Lou's out and about with the camera. She's, um, she's getting work. Do you want to tell me about some already? Some SLS action? Yeah, I'll uh, talk around. We, we have only got this one room at the Guy Fox in at the moment. It's called the Belfry Suite, and it sits right at the top of the pub. Um, bit of a living area for you. The back overlooks the minster. There's a possibility that we're going to be doing a courtyard for human pendulum later on. We'll try. If we get them enough people there to do yeah. it. I'll introduce you to our other member of the team. <laughs> That's Egon. Uh, see if any children spirits like to play with him. I think this uh, inn was set up for hobbits. There was a alarm going off in here somewhere. Yeah, the door's not shut properly. Okay. Um, great, I'm walking into the dark now. I'll just turn this around for you so you can uh, see where you're going. I wish I'd have brought a torch with me, but I haven't. I'll turn a, a light on for you so you can actually see what we're working with. Uh, we did plan to have a few more rooms, uh, but they've been double booked, which is uh, unfortunate. Not a lot we can do with that, but I think we already. Hey, oh, there's our member of the team. Hi. There's Lou. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're already getting activity. Um, tightness in the chest uh, and we're straight away and the staff were very keen for us to come up here uh, Sarah in particular asked us to this area here stand in this spot this area we've had we've had feelings that there's been something's been fell off here or hung and one no fault of his own so we've got we've had SLS footage up here as well of that happening but there's real strong feelings that it wasn't actually him that did it himself he was actually forced off there I say this might not even been here when it was built, okay. but something happened down there. Hopefully, we'll get some board action there later on. Yeah, as you, as uh, Dee just said, uh, Sarah said there's sense there's something here, so I'll put the SLS camera on her, which we'll get going out later on, and straight away, uh, stick figure mapped on 
Yeah. This area here, and um, without saying anything to Sarah, she went, he's hanging, isn't he? And Dee can confirm that. Yeah, his he, legs was about here. Yeah, the figure did look. up here somewhere. As though he was hanging. <laughs> you did, didn't it? Yeah. He wasn't a very tall figure, which, called, which in them days, they're not a very tall people, was it? They were short stature, weren't they, in the yeah, 1780s? Yeah. So that, for being that far off the ground to here, it was a short, short Definitely. person. Definitely. Definitely. I'm wondering if that that SLS mappage there was something to do with what happened there. But only time will tell if we can find anything out and get names and what have you. We have got a board we're doing later on as well. Yeah, we, uh, we've we got a bit more equipment. We've got spirit boards with us. Um, two members of staff will be joining us shortly. Uh, Stacey and Dan. We're, uh, we're just setting up our equipment and having a, a nose around at the and moment. maybe some guests. <laughs> Where has the accent come from? <laughs> I went to school with you, you shouldn't know, Lou. <laughs> I, I have been talking to the guests and two of the ladies might be joining in. Are they? One's, one's not sure, but the other two... Convince them, as many as you can. Yeah. The more we can, they just think pendulum. They're just more worried that they're sleeping here tonight. In here? <laughs> well, no, downstairs. Oh. That's irrelevant. In the thingy. That's irrelevant, they won't sleep, it's all right. So, um... We're afraid no ghost, are we, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Depends if it wants to touch me bum. Um... Yeah, so we're just waiting for the uh, other people to arrive up here, and we, uh, we're basing ourselves up here, but once it quietens down as well, I didn't sound like that. <laughs> I've got an extra as a dingle in Emmerdale, that's why. Um, we've got the courtyard area outside where we uh, intend to do a human pendulum session, if we have enough people. And obviously the lights will be getting cut out when we start, so it'll be, in, so it'll be pitch black, so that'll be fun. Yes, uh, spirit board sessions, human pendulum sessions, SLS camera, uh, calling out. Got pendulums, aren't we? Crystals, uh, crystal we've pendulum. Um, we've got we've got a spirit box. Yep, spirit box. Cameras set up. That's what Lou's doing now. Um, what else we got? We got EV. We got EVP. And we've also got K twos, haven't we? And rods. And rods. We've, rods we've, yeah. done a, we've done a, a sweep of the area. With a K2, and there's been no spikes. So, if there's any spikes that happens when we're calling out, then obviously it's paranormal. <laughs> What's your put? Just got my cover ready for this. Not my own type. Let's not freak me out. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to provoke him. I've been told I'm not allowed to provoke him, haven't I, Andy? Oh, yes. He does have a history of uh, <laughs> provoking. Well, we'll. Lou said I can, though. For sure. To an extent. Oh. We'll be doing it. We've already had a little bit. Here's, so, here's one of the uh, people at work. Here's one of the staff. Damn. Hello. <laughs> uh, He's going to be joining us. Certainly will. Uh, well, uh, we'll be back in a bit once we get things going. And we have got internet because we've got the Wi-Fi passcode. <laughs> so we've oh, got. Yes. <laughs> so we, we haven't actually started yet, but already we're getting uh, feelings and yeah. readings on the SLS camera. There's so definitely uh, somebody here. Join us in a bit, and I'll update another video for you then. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah.